welcome and in today's video I want to talk about kings, thrones, and kingdoms. So I've been attending this uh, men's group that meets once a week for about an hour and the topic came up of kingdoms. So there's two kingdoms, there's a heavenly kingdom and there's a worldly kingdom and usually in a kingdom there's a king and so in the world we have a throne and I think the world likes to promote that you know we sit on the throne and we control our lives just as like a king right and then as Christians we believe that in the heavenly kingdom that Jesus sits on the throne and we serve Jesus right and so the reflection is in the throne of our hearts because our hearts kind of govern what we do what we say what we think who's sitting there is it ourselves are we our own kings do we listen to our own authority do we just do whatever we feel like doing because it makes us feel good do we put our spouses on that throne such as they're the ones that we serve or do we put, I mean, there's probably other things that we can put on this throne, right? Like our money, our jobs, our career, and we give it all of our attention and we serve and we become a slave to these things, right? But I think ultimately as Christians, it should be Jesus sitting at the throne of our hearts, right? And Jesus is the one that we choose to serve because we love him, right? And so I guess that's just a, a good reflection. Like, who sits on the throne of your heart? Is it yourself? What is it? Because if it's not Jesus, I would be concerned as to um, where you're headed, I guess. And so just a reflection. You know, God gives us free will. And you can put anything on the throne that you want. But just remember, there's only one king, and that's Jesus. Thanks for watching.